In this video, we'll be looking at the sine of x function. So sine of x is defined to be 1 if x is greater than 0, 0 if x is equal to 0, and negative 1 if x is less than 0. So what this comes down to is, if x is positive, it's going to equal 1. If x is 0, it's 0. And if x is negative, it's going to be negative 1. So this looks very similar to the absolute value of x over x when x is not equal to 0 and 0 when x equals 0. So we'll be looking at a couple examples here of different types of functions. First we're going to be looking at linear functions. So let's say sine of x plus 3. So we know that x plus 3 is positive when x is greater than negative 3. So if I was going to make the piecewise function, it's positive when x is greater than negative 3, so we're going to put a positive 1. Now it's negative when x is less than negative 3, so we're going to put a negative 1. And it's going to be 0 when x is equal to negative 3. So notice with these, they all have the same point here. So you're either going either left of the point, right of the point, or directly at that point. Okay. Let's do another example with another linear function. So let's say I have sine of 3x plus 2. So for this one, we want to see when it's negative, positive, etc. So it might be better to just set this equal to 0 okay, and get that x is negative 2 thirds. So we know that's going to be the point at which everything depends on. So obviously if it's equal to negative 2 thirds, it's going to be 0. Now we know that this is a positive slope. It looks something like that. So to the right of negative 2 thirds, it's going to be positive. So we're going to put 1. And to the left of negative 2 thirds, it's going to be negative. So we'll put negative 1. So that's what um, it's defined as. But now let's look at a more exciting functions. Let's say we have sine of ln of x. And this one is definitely exciting. So let's graph this ln of x. We know ln of 1 is 0. So clearly, 1 is the point at which it breaks up the graph from positive to negative. So anything to the right of 1 is positive. So we're going to put positive 1. At x equals 1, it's 0. We'll put 0. And here we have to be very careful because the domain, the domain is x being greater than 0. So we cannot just say x is less than 1. You know, it's not defined for values less than or equal to 0. So we want to put a lower bound of 0 here. And so that would just be negative between 0 and 1. So we'll put a negative 1 there. So that's my function. Okay, the next one we'll be looking at the inverse of that. So let's look at e to the x. We know that e to the x looks like that. It's always greater than 0, right? The range is why greater than 0. It's never going to equal 0. So it doesn't make sense for it to be um, uh, 
negative or zero. So since the range is always positive, that means this thing should always equal one. And we don't actually need a piecewise function since a function is positive.